Part 164 Unrefined Sincerity In 9 after Hijri, the Banu Sa'd Ibn Bakr, a sub-tribe within the Hawazin, sent a delegation. After the Battle of Hunain, they dispersed and fled, but did not accept Islam. They arrived to negotiate a treaty with the Prophet, but not to accept Islam. They sent one of their elders, Dimam Ibn Thalaba, to negotiate with the Prophet. As Bedouins, they were abrasive and uncouth, and Dimam epitomized that image. He stomped his way into Medina, dismounted his camel right outside the entrance of the mosque, and demanded, Who is the son of Abd al-Muttalib? The Prophet identified himself and Dimam announced, I will ask you, and I will be tough with you, so don't be upset with me. The Prophet encouraged him to continue, and he said, Your messenger reached us, and said that you are the messenger of Allah. The Prophet replied, He has spoken the truth. Dimam continued, So who created the heavens? The Prophet replied, Allah. Dimam asked, And who created the earth? The Prophet replied, Allah. Dimam asked, Who created the mountains? The Prophet replied, Allah. Dimam asked, Who placed everything around us? The Prophet replied, Allah. Dimam then continued to dramatize his questioning. So I ask you by the one who created the heavens, by the one who created the earth, by the one who created the mountains, by the one who placed everything around us, I ask you by Allah, are you swearing that Allah has sent you to us? The Prophet replied defiantly, I swear by Allah that he sent me. Dimam continued, Your messenger also said that you command us to pray five times a day. I ask you by the one who has sent you, did Allah command you to tell us to pray five times a day? The Prophet replied in the affirmative, and Dimam asked the same question about zakah, fasting, and hajj, and the Prophet replied in the affirmative to all his questions. Dimam then declared, I swear by the one who has sent you, that I will follow this instruction without increasing or decreasing one bit. Dimam then stormed out, and the Prophet said to his companions, If he is truthful about following the instruction without increasing or decreasing, he will enter paradise. Dimam's story showcases the pillars of Islam as the foundation of the religion. Dimam declared that he would not exceed the bare minimum one iota, and the Prophet promised him paradise. It also demonstrates the Prophet's patience. Dimam was not acquainted with proper etiquettes, but the Prophet was patient with him and accepted his questioning as sincere. When Dimam returned to his tribe, he began preaching Islam, and he was so respected that his entire tribe accepted Islam on the same day. The Banu Asad ibn Kuzayma arrived and declared to the Prophet, O Messenger of Allah, we testify that there is no God but Allah and that you are his slave and messenger. We would like you to know that we have come to you without you sending a messenger, and we have come to you without you needing to fight us. They continued to brag about their efforts until Allah revealed, They regard their acceptance of Islam as a favor to you. Tell them, do not regard your Islam as a favor to me. Rather, it is Allah who has done you a favor by guiding you to the faith, if indeed you are faithful. Surah 49 verse 17 as more people accept Islam with varying intentions, Allah emphasized that humility in worshipping Him is integral, as Islam is a blessing bestowed by Him.